Generators 101 continued. The next step is to pick a fuel source. The most common fuel source used for small standby generators is natural gas. However, you're relying on one utility company to back up another. The natural gas piping systems that are in the streets were designed and installed 50, 60 years ago. Back then, the demand for gas was not as high as it is today. Also take into consideration that generators use two to three times the natural gas that it takes to heat your home. Therefore, the demand for gas is now becoming extremely high. You're still relying on one utility company to supply fuel for the backup of a utility company that supplies electricity. The demand for gas is so high that the pressure may drop. If the pressure drops to your home, your furnace will still ignite, the flame will come on and you'll heat your home. However, if the pressure drops when you're trying to run an engine, any engine, the engine just simply will not run. Some manufacturers require five inches of gas pressure to keep an engine running. Some manufacturers have to have seven inches of gas pressure to keep your engine running. Most homes run somewhere between three and four inches of gas pressure. Therefore, natural gas may not be the fuel of choice to power your home standby generator. The BTU level of propane is higher per cubic foot than it is for natural gas. Therefore, most generators will produce more power fueled on propane than they will fueled on natural gas. The propane fuel is a better fuel for engines than natural gas is just by its characteristics of having more BTU per cubic foot. Therefore, a generator is more powerful. I can power more appliances in your home on the same generator fueled on propane than I can fueled on natural gas. What we've been doing for customers in the area is excavating a hole and burying a 500 gallon propane tank somewhere in your yard. The requirements are pretty simple and we've done this multiple times. By putting in a propane tank, you've now become totally independent. You're not relying on a utility company for your fuel source. And a 500 gallon propane tank will give you somewhere between five to nine days of fuel for a small spark ignited engine, which is enough for you to get by during a power failure. The propane tank buried in your yard will be refilled by a propane company, but because you have enough fuel on board, they don't have to come every day, and therefore you have enough fuel to get through most of the power failures. <laughs>